Hi, I'm Matthew Schwartz, Executive Editor with Information Security Media Group. I'm here at RSA to talk about the role of security assessments in securing organizations. Joining me to discuss is Larry Hurtado, CEO of Digital Defense. Larry, thanks for joining me today. Looking forward to it. Digital Defense, how is that different from other cybersecurity firms? We are a provider of security technology and services, and from the beginning, uh, our, one of our primary objectives have been to bring cloud-based platforms to market that enable us to deliver automated and analyst-assisted security assessment solutions, as well as compliance solutions to the marketplace. Okay, now you've moved the platform to Amazon Web Services. What are the advantages in doing that? You know, one of the primary, sort of like our hallmarks, is the ability to uh, deliver services in a fashion that is very easy to use. And so, first and foremost, our move to Amazon has primarily been to enable our clients to be able to assess both premise, cloud, and hybrid environments uh, with relative ease. And fortunately for us, uh, as we made the announcement, as we started to turn up clients within AWS, we have confirmed that, uh, that the move has been worthwhile and is delivering on our primary objective. You know, once again, a lot of the uh, analyst reports that have been out recently have reaffirmed that what we've tried to do in terms of uh, investing in our technology, not only to be effective, but enable the users of our technology be able to do so in a very easy manner uh, has been has been delivered, and we're enjoying that. Now, I would think that you would need something like AWS to be providing this in the cloud. If you had on-premise, I think there would be some serious technical challenges for attempting to go from there out to the cloud. Well, you have to keep in mind that we are a pioneer of cloud-based technology. So we were actually operating within a cloud environment already. Mm -hmm. uh, it just so happened that the cloud was our private cloud. So we basically took what we had in our private cloud and moved it into AWS. Now, from an investment standpoint, it was a relatively minor investment for us. It was a relatively easy thing for us to do. And I share that with you because in my mind, it means there's more things to come. Mm -hmm. uh, because once again, uh, we just had saw some very uh, things that would be very beneficial to our clients in terms of, uh, especially when it comes to scanning uh, within the Amazon environment. Uh, but the other thing is, is that some of our clients, especially those around the globe, are starting to see more and more data residency requirements, and Amazon is helping us to fulfill those or meet those requirements with relative ease as well. Okay, so a lot, a lot of uh, worries or organizational concerns when it comes to managing their data these days. Absolutely. Now, threat management. I know you've added a threat management tool to your arsenal, and what was the thinking behind moving in that direction? Well, the other thing that really is sort of like a, a hallmark of digital defense is that we deliver proactive security solutions. And so all of the assessment type work that we do enables our clients to uh, lower their risk of a data breach uh, by basically taking the corrective actions that we find, right? So for us, the cyber threat management capability is one step further or a complementary solutions to the ones that we already have. In this particular case, what we're able to do is assess what information a client might have on the dark web so that they can basically uh, remediate those issues before those uh, types of uh, that type of information is used in an attack against them. So to give them a heads up that it's out there, it's circulating, maybe there's something happened that they didn't know about yet. Exactly. Or there's probably something coming down the pike. Exactly, exactly. So we want them to proactively secure their environments uh, as opposed to uh, basically having to uh, respond to an incident after it occurs. So we don't want the incident to occur in the first place. Try to prevent it in exactly. the first place. Much exactly. easier than remediating Totally, it. totally. Now, how do you see digital defense evolving? You, you were hinting that AWS is giving you some future capabilities, mm -hmm. but what? How, how do you see the company going? Well, as a move, from a move into AWS, you know, there's, uh, within the near future, you could see us moving into Azure, uh, you could even see us moving into Google and even potentially Alibaba, for example, mm. to basically leverage those cloud platforms as well. You know, we are going to basically move in the direction that the market tells us that we need to go as well as how our clients uh, tell us they need to go. So that's one element. You know, we will always be an organization that is investing in scanning solutions and we're always going to be an organization that invests in the ability to manage the results that come back from those scans. And 
We have patented technologies in both of those areas, and I can assure you, especially in the results management side of the equation, uh, that is not an easy feat. Uh, it's causing a lot of organizations a lot of headaches because of some of the other solutions out there and not having some of the scan management capabilities that we have. So we'll continue to invest in those areas and we'll continue to look for ways in which to leverage other cloud platforms um, as and when uh, we feel like it's going to be prudent for us to do so. Excellent. Larry, thank you very much for your time and insights Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thank you very much. I've been talking security assessments with Larry Hurtado. I'm Matthew Schwartz with Information Security Media Group. Thank you very much for joining us.